Hello everybody! Today we're going to talk about memory on Solana. And um, memory on Solana is a scarce resource. So um, you have a, if you write a program, especially in Anchor, you have a um, stack size limit of four kilobytes and you have a heap size limit of 32 kilobytes. And you have a an, uh, PDA account limit of 10 kibibytes. So today I'm gonna show you how you can save stack space, um, how you can create accounts that are bigger than 10 kilobytes, and in the end we're gonna look at uh, zero copy serialization so that you can create accounts that are actually big uh, up to 10 megabytes. For that we're gonna go through this repository here, Anchor Zero Copy Example. It contains um, three tests um, which we will go through one after the other. And the first one is the stack size limit, so the four kilobytes. I will quickly show you the uh, structure of this project. So here in the program zero copy, we have the program. This program is written in Anchor and we will run these tests one after the other. The first one is a stack size limit. First thing, it creates a new key pair, then uh, it finds a PDA. Um, it by using the string hit stack size and the uh, signer public key bytes to yeah, find this PDA account. Then it does an airdrop and then we initialize the account and that is already it for this one. This test basically succeeds as soon as there's an error in this, um, in this instruction because I want to show you that there is a limit on the stack size if you have big structs in your account. So the initialize hit stack size instruction has um, the same seed as the one that you just saw in TypeScript. So we have the hit stack size string, the payer will be the signer, and we set the size of this account to 10 kibibyte, so 10 times uh, one kilobyte. And then we have this big struct here, hit stack size struct, uh, has a good name. <laughs> so this is an array of uh, nine options of big struct. And the big struct contains four public keys. The struct has a uh, size of four times 32 bytes, so 128 bytes. And this times nine plus one for the option is 1161 bytes. But um, the way how Anchor serializes it, we already hit the stack size at this point. So we can already see as soon as we build this program, Anchor does this nice check and beforehand that um, we surpass the stack size of four kilobyte by 416 bytes already. And if I run this test, um, then we will also see the error and chain that I'm going to show you now. So we just type anchor run stack size and then we see that this failed. So let's just do anchor test first. This will automatically always build and deploy the program so it's easier um, to run the test. So um, then we will see here now it runs and here we can already find the um, transaction signature and <clears throat> since I'm running a local validator that you can just do like this you just type in the terminal if you have the Solana CLI installed Solana test validator minus R and then you run your local validator and then you can look into this instruction currently now I can't look into this uh, at this anymore of course because I just <laughs> killed my local validator <laughs> this is the signature we copy it into our explorer, which is pointing to our local validator. And then here on the bottom we see access violation, stack frame 5, so some cryptic error. Yeah, now I want to show you some tricks how you can um, save some stack space to yeah, have a bigger structs, bigger accounts. So uh, what you can do is you can box this um, account here in the derive accounts struct. And what this will do, it uh, creates a pointer of 16 bytes, which will point to the account, which will now be saved on the heap. And now if we run this again, anchor build, we can see that we saved a bunch of um, size on the stack. So now um, we are only surpassing the size of the stack by 72 bytes. So whenever you have like um, big structs uh, that are like bigger than 16 bytes or so, it usually makes sense to box the accounts. 
Now we go to the next test and I want to show you how you can create an account which is bigger than 10 kilobytes because by default um, PDA uh, that you create in Solana um, has a size limit of 10 kibibytes because um, create, Anchor creates accounts by doing a cross-program invocation to the system program. So basically you create the account, it gets initialized and it calls system program.create account and initialize. And there in the Solana runtime, there is a limit of 10 kibibyte that you can allocate per transaction. And to get around this, what you can do is you can create a new instruction which increases the size of the account. So you can just allocate more money, uh, more memory to it. Also more money actually, because the bigger an account, the more it costs. I can quickly show you how you can find out what an account costs. You can just type um, in the terminal Solana rent and then for example, 1024 byte. And then we can see this account uh, costs us 0.008 sol to save on chain. But what we want to actually wanted to do is like I want to show you how you can make your account bigger. So for that we call this instruction here that I wrote. Um, it's called increase account size. And here you can already see in this um, line above the uh, struct that we put in now uh, U16, which is called len. It's a nice thing that Anchor does. You can put variables in here and then you can have in your struct declaration, you can have variable data. So when we put this len in here, then we can realloc the account to the len U size that we put in. So it's converting the U16 to a U size. So after this instruction went through, we allocate an account, which <clears throat> we allocate the size of the account to be bigger now. You can also make it smaller and then you get some sol back actually. So how we call this from JavaScript is we just initialize um, no zero copy. This is the initialization. And then here is the instruction to increase the account data. So we just call program methods, increase account data, and then we set it to 20,480 bytes now, which is double the size. And you can do this with every instruction. So you can now call this one, two, three, four, five times, and this will always increase your account. To see if this really works, and we will now um, send some strings to this account and save them in, this in the account data field. So we have this loop here, which goes from 0 to 14, and in every iteration in this loop, we're gonna send 920 A's, so 920 byte into this account and then save it in that account. So in total, this should be more than 10 kilobyte already. Um, I'm going to quickly show you what we do in the back end in the program. So here we just um, take the context, we take the accounts, we get the data holder, we get the string that is in there, and then we push the string that we pass in and then Anchor automatically serializes it afterwards and the account will be saved. Yeah, so let's uh, run this. Anchor run without zero copy. And then we can see that it failed again. So let's do anchor test. Anchor test uh, just runs all the scripts, but um, you can also here in the anchor toml, what I did, I created these extra scripts here, which run every test separately. But for some reason, it doesn't work currently. So here we can see the realloc instruction. So let's copy it. We put it into the explorer. And here we can see that we created this PDA here with a balance of 14 sol. So we can already see the size of this account is now 20 kibibyte. So we already have a bigger account, but we are not using zero copy yet. So what this means is that um, as soon as we load more data than 35 kilobyte, then our program will run out of memory. And this uh, happens here after 12 times sending 920 bytes to this account. 
So let's look at the last instruction here, the last signature. So we paste this in and then we already see here in the end, error, memory, allocation failed, out of memory. <clears throat> so um, to get around this now, we will need to create a zero copy account. What this means is that not the whole account will be in on the heap, but instead it will be in memory on the validator and we just interact with it by taking certain slices out of this account, work on them and then directly put them back in. How you create a zero copy account is um, you add this attribute here, account zero copy, and then you can set a certain wrap type. Um, and this the default one is C, but there's also a few other ones. The links to uh, the ones that are available are in the repository that I linked down below. Um, basically what this does is it um, shows, uh, it explains how the data will be structured in the account. So if you put it to packed, then it tries to make it as small as possible. But this, uh, there you can run into problems from time to time, like, for example, options are serialized differently and enums are serialized differently. So I would recommend you only to use this if you really need a big account. So what we do here now is we have this long string and we set it to 40,000 bytes. So U8 is a byte. And um, yeah, the size we always have to subtract eight bytes because what Anchor does when it initializes an account, it always sets a byte discriminator in the beginning of the account. This one is derived from the name of the account and account prefix colon, and then it takes a SHA-258 hash of it and takes the third eight byte and then puts them at the beginning of the data. Bit of a detail, but maybe it's good to know that you know what is actually in this data field when you look at the account. And then the next thing you need to change as well is that um, this is not an account anymore, but instead it is now an account loader. If it's an account, then it tries to load the whole account. But if it's just an account loader, then you basically just get the pointer to it. So and I'm going to show you how this looks here in the program. We do basically the same thing as with the other accounts. We just send a string, but now we also set an index. And what we do to save the data in this account, the trick is that we don't load the whole account data, but we just um, take the data, we load it mutable, and then here we take a certain slice of the account. So in this case, we start at an index and go to index times um, plus 912, because we send 912 bytes of string here. This is not 920 anymore, but instead it's now 912, because we also need to send this index, which is another eight bytes that we don't have space anymore in the transaction. Because a transaction has 1,232 bytes, and we need to be very careful that we are not getting bigger than that. So we only have 912 byte of data actually that we can put in here. And um, yeah, directly on this index, we just copy from slice the string that we are passing into the function. And as like this, we are just directly interacting with the memory. And so we don't need to load the whole thing. And um, we can interact with up to 10 megabytes of data. If I now would, for example, try to load the whole account, when if I, for example, want to print it, then this would fail because uh, our 40,000 byte are bigger than the 32 byte of um, heap size. You can um, try this out. I would recommend that you just uh, check out the repository and then uh, run them yourself. Maybe do a little bit of um, some tests yourself. But um, yeah, this should give you basically everything that you need if you want to create a big account. So here you can see we increase it to 20 KB byte, 30 KB byte, 40 KB byte. And then we take these 912 bytes and we go in the loop like 43 times. And every time we send um, yeah, 912 A's. And now we also need to add this index so that we know at which memory position we actually want to change this data. You would need to do the same thing now if you want to read the data again. And you would also need to pass in the index from where you want to read the string. So zero copy makes it um, 
a bit more complicated. You need to like figure out what you actually want to do. But um, yeah, having 10 megabytes accounts uh, also will help you a lot. We can maybe as a last thing quickly look at how the test looks like when it runs here and it shoves the data into it. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions about memory on Solana and um, zero copy, just uh, put them below in the questions and I will try to answer them all in the next days. Have a nice evening, everybody. Bye-bye.